but it's also a conversation about LGBT life. And I think, like all conversations, I think that, as I should say, to that end, the center decided the there has never been a festival that has really honored that conversation, that has brought together talented LGBT composers and musicians in the jazz world. So, thanks to the generous funding of the Pew Center for Arts and Heritage, we've been able to partner with them to put on this historic event. And what, what better place to have an historic event than in a historic city and at an historic community institution? So there are some people that I have to thank. So we would not be able to do any of this without these individuals. Firstly, I'd like, to, I'd like to thank the staff who work incredibly hard, as well as the board members of the William Way Center. And if you're a board member of the staff, you can raise your hand. I'd also like to thank Homer Jackson and our friends at the Philly Jazz Project. Mark Crispin, our album project manager. DL Media, our marketing partner for Alpha. Mark Byerly and Joanne Rivera, who are responsible for this event and all the wonderful productions that you'll have throughout the festival. Karen Smith, a tireless volunteer coordinator. Yes. Our sponsors included Kiko, Coors, Brooklyn Brewery, and dozens of media and venue partners that have made this festival possible. So later this evening, you'll hear more about uh, the weekend's festivities and how you can get involved and how you can see various aspects of the festival. But without further ado, I'd like to introduce you to our performers. These are going to be the first, uh, the first album performances of the festival. We have, and I'm pleased to welcome, very talented Philadelphia singer-songwriters, Dina Underwood and Jay. Thank you. 